Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Asim. I am working as DevOps engineer. Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can access our in internal application securely and we are going to use zero tier, right? And zero, zero tier give you a powerful feature to access your uh, application internally and even the host machine, right? So guys, uh, what we have actually, you know, uh, seen from the past videos that, you know, um, I set up the ingress controller through traffic and set up, you know, Telegram, VPC, GKE cluster, Google Kubernetes cluster, right? So guys, I already done that to, you know, save the time. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the stuff uh, like to deploy one application and that application is going to be a router right so first of all i just want to show you that uh, i've already made one dns entry and this particular dns entry should be able to um, you know give our application so guys this is the internal load balance that, uh, which i've deployed through traffic so let me show you this part so if i do kubectl um, get ingress in namespace traffic right so you will see this is the private ip address of the load balancer so instead of ingress i should type the svc which is going to be the service so guys this is the ip address and what i'm looking uh, to uh, you know um, get my two application and uh, you see i made it a wildcard entry one application uh, is going to be you know uh, like app.seclanmushtaq other is going to be api.seclanmushtaq.com one load balancer you know um, multiple application uh, through a single uh, ingress controller so now our focus is to access that particular application right so if i navigate to this uh, application i mean this container so this container i've already you know is part of my network so what i'm going to do i'm going to try to access this particular ap application locally so if i type uh, api.dev.seclanmushtaq.com technically i should be able to do that but uh, it is not going to work why we don't have any access to our uh, you know infra but if you see those particular two machines uh, let me ping first of all this guy and let me navigate to this section right so if i do ping this guy i should be you see able to ping this guy which is my container and other is my remote ubuntu complete box right so i just want to show you that uh, you know there is a networking uh, you just simply need to install the particular Z zero tier app uh, i mean application and you will you'll see those particular devices but what we are looking to uh, do here to access our you know uh, application which is deployed in, uh, in um, you know kubernetes cluster so let's try to do that so guys uh, what i will be doing let's try to create a router so what i'm going to do i'm going to apply teragrant in it and teragrant apply dash auto dash approve right so let's do that okay so guys uh, what it does it is going to cre create one vm here along with this zero tier shell it is going to install the application and uh, Let's wait for a while until then i'm going to pause the video right so guys uh, if you see uh, our vm is actually deployed let's try to navigate to our uh, section right these application we are unable to access right now uh, our target is to access those application in this particular container because this particular container is part of our network so right so guys this router is uh, has been deployed right and i'm going to uh, you know trying to ping this guy technically i should not be able to ping that because it is not part of our you know um, network you see uh, it is going to be blocked so guys uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to navigate to this section and if i do refresh here so um, our router should be available here so what it does uh, uh, i've uh, added a script like it is going to make an api call 
and that particular uh, VM is going to make APA call to this uh, zero to year uh, section. Shortly it's going to be available. We have to be a little patient, and then you uh, shortly we'll we see able to see that uh, that particular VM is going to be available here, and let's wait for a while, right? So let's wait. So guys, you see after a few seconds, our you know that particular VM zero to year router global is actually available with the IP address. 10 uh, 201 which we have already tried to ping but we are unable to ping that particular um, you know ip address this one right so what uh, i'm going to do uh, i'm going to copy this particular guy which is actually the ip address of that particular machine i should be able to ping that right so i'm going to ping that okay uh, we have to uh, wait for a while uh, it will take some time and uh, you will see shortly you know as I discussed we have to be a little patient you see the ping has started right so but the point is that we are unable to access that very good network which we are actually is the IP address of our load balancer which is the DNS entry and if I simply navigate to this section technically I should not be able to access this guy so what we are going to do we are going to add a route to that particular routers i mean uh, i mean we are going to add the route so via this ip address which is the uh, you know ip address of that particular router machine which we have set up so simply what i'm going to do i'm going to add one route here via this one network is going to be uh, which we are actually pinging so um, let me show you this part uh, like we are instead let me show you from the section of this uh, uh, this VM section so uh, the side range is 10.201 right so um, I mean in the like uh, in the VPC I'm going to show you the side range so let me let me show you this part why we are going to add that particular complete side range and then later on uh, we are going to narrow down uh, to our needs to get uh, more security towards our network so uh, you see uh, there is a default network and other is the global network right so simply I'm going to click the global network which we have actually deployed through the telegram right so uh, you will see uh, 10.201 uh, this one right with the slash 16 so that's why I'm going to add that particular right because our Kubernetes cluster and BM is part of that particular uh, network right so I hope you will get the understanding so I'm going to um, add the routes right so 10.201 right and uh, let's try to add that okay so let's try to uh, try the ping again of that particular router uh, I mean this time we are you, you see able to access particular particular uh, VM and let's try to also uh, I mean the ping uh, other guys like ping the other VMs uh, should be able to do that so let's try to do that and if I try to do that so let me paste it here you see we are able to ping now our target we should be able to access our, our application because we should be able to act at, i mean access that particular ip address of the load balancer as well you see we are able to access our application internally right and let's try to access the other application app dot dev dot dot com right you see our application is particularly i mean uh, effectively working fine in our internal uh, container which is actually a part of that particular uh, network right so this is our network this is our docker container sandbox and which is part of this network we added a route and we are able to access our application internally without you know doing any proxy or all that stuff through the um, you know the router we have created uh, so uh, yeah that is it guys uh, I mean uh, one thing I would like to add uh, at the end you see like um, we want to narrow down the scope of our you know um, access let's say try to ping this guy and I don't want that I just wanna uh, give access to only to my uh, you know load balancer so what I'm going to do 
I'm going to get rid, uh, get rid of um, other, you know, uh, complete route which we have added, like uh, narrow down the scope. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply um, remove this guy, right? Wait for a while. What it does, it is going to save it. And then uh, what we are going to do, we are going to simply put the uh, internal IP address of our load balancer, which is going to be slash 32, which is going to be the complete uh, address, right? So let's try to save it and then uh, we are going to see do we are able to access our application and let's first of all see do we able to ping the guy which we in past able to ping those guys you see ping is top right so that is how actually we securely you know uh, control the route of traffic right so yep and uh, let me try to ping the other machine as well 10206 so but uh, technically i should be able to uh, i mean access my um, application without any issues you see you see i'm keep refreshing which is request you see uh, where is the request goes request to goes to this router if you see one of the host uh, machine this is the deployment and the pods container so you will see that the load balancing is working fine and we are able to internally access our application and if you see i've added a um, you know a wildcard entry and um, it is able to access you know multiple application through a single load balancer and uh, routing is happening on host and path based routing and you see uh, let me show you this part so this is the guys application I deployed app dot uh, I mean um, app dot dev dot uh, dot com other is api dot dev dot dot com so one is uh, one application is listening on port 8080 and other is uh, actually listening on 80 port right so this is how we can uh, you know successfully like uh, uh, route the traffic through a single load balancer and we are using cert manager and uh, uh, which actually manage the free certificates through let's encrypt so this is the dev uh, staging queue environment uh, we are uh, set we have actually set it up and access uh, access our application uh, internally right so let me show you that part as well uh, regarding the cert manager so guys i've already made videos with regard to that uh, so uh, you can watch those particular videos and this is the cert manager which is going to manage the certificates uh, right for us and the other part uh, I need to show you the traffic ingress controller for traffic I've already made videos you can watch those particular videos so these are the traffic ingress controllers which is actually doing the routing for us and in then just you know default namespace uh, which where our two our applications actually uh, uh, are deployed and I'm going to show you in the last um, uh, cube CTL um, get ingress routes and you will see that two routes are added and simply I'm going to dip uh, I mean describe those particular routes and you will uh, you should be able to see the entry uh, you know is actually with the uh, I mean navigate one is navigating to the API you see this one and the other, the other is actually uh, navigating to the um, app.saklamstag.com so uh, and also the IP address of the load balancer is kubectl get uh, svc which I guess I already shown you guys in the start of the video in namespace traffic <coughs> this is the IP address and just double confirm from the I mean uh, Kubernetes area type uh, load balancer guess uh, my sorry guys this is a sandbox environment and this is just timed out guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to the channel and has a nice day and have a nice day thank you